So before we get into this video, a massive shout out to our D Rose 8 giveaway winner, Patrick Mao. Head over to Instagram and give him a little follow. Patrick, we hope you enjoy the kicks. And if you want to be in with a chance of winning our next giveaway, make sure you hit that subscribe button from now and turn on your post notifications so you guys are ready for the next one. With all that being said, let's get into this video. Yo, what's up YouTube? This is Pure Kicks, back with another video. And in today's video, we're comparing the Nike PG2 and the Adidas Harden Volume 2s. Let's get it. So James Harden and Paul George, two of maybe the best scorers in the NBA. Ooh, yeah, the way they right. go to work, bro, it's a joy to watch. Yeah, Absolutely right. fantastic to watch. James Harden, as all of us already know, he's having an MVP season and his shoe is a fantastic reflection of the way he's playing on court. Paul George, a guy's in a new team and his game, he's taking that to another level as well, showing us that he can play off the guard as right. a second option and still doing his thing as an all-star as well. But today, we're not talking about the players as to how they play on the court, we're talking about their shoes and how they perform side by side each other. So without further ado, Let's get straight into it. So getting straight into the aesthetics of both shoes. The PG2 is a new shoe. It was different for a lot of people, especially as it leaked as well. When it finally came to fruition, there were a lot of mixed messages, a lot of mixed thoughts. What people liked it, people don't. I have to say I'm one of the people who didn't love it. Mm -hmm. It's all right, especially on foot. Yeah, it's not bad. Whereas here with the Harden 2s, again, this is another shoe that didn't look great in leaked images. But once you had them in mm -hmm. hand, on foot, the shoe looks fantastic. I love the way the shoe looks when you're looking down. The shoe looks clean and I, I really like the way the shoe looks on my feet. Comparing the two, oh. I might have to give the edge slightly to the Harden, I think. What about you, T? I'm gonna have to agree with you. Yeah, yeah I know, look, as you said, looking down at your feet is very important because that's the only view, I guess, you have as a player. Yeah. Everyone else, when you get seeing pictures and people watching you, 100%. I think the Harden takes the cake for sure. Yeah. Not saying that the, that the PG2 is ugly. Not at all. They're both very similar in terms of aesthetics, well, clean, yeah. but this just gets this slight edge. So moving on into the tractions of each shoe. In the PG2, we've got that psychedelic floral wave pattern thing, a thingamajig, which worked like a charm. Yep. Whether I can say it or not, it worked very, very well. The only gripe we had was that the translucent soles maybe haven't got that durability, yep. but the solid rubbers, <laughs> well then. Right, all right. Over here in the Harden Volume 2s, what we have is this shattered glass, earth shattering traction pattern, which also surprisingly did the job. We were skeptical as to how it performed before we got the shoe on court, but I think it's the compound of the rubber mm -hmm. that actually just got the job done. The traction was really good and it doesn't require that much wiping, which I was surprised True. to as well, because I have to have some pretty dusty courts to me. There. I have some pretty dusty courts in the Harden Volume 2, it's in my rotation. And it's because the traction actually just does the job. I don't have to wipe it too many times. So the traction this was actually pretty good. But if I'm comparing the two. PG2. So next up, talking about cushioning. Don't know why we're even getting into this, Timmy. It's a hard one, you know? It's this not. This is actually a hard one. No. It's, it's crazy. We've got a lot to talk about. They don't have too much is, time. Got a lot to talk about here. <sighs> it's a very, very hard one. There's a is lot it? to be said, actually. Lots of factors. He's why? Really, it's really hard. Why are we even getting into this? I have lots to say. We should try and open up the shoes. I think we should try and <sighs> okay. rip them apart. Because this is difficult. I've lost sleep over this one. No, we haven't. Here, we have life. Ladies and gentlemen, life. Boost is life. It's so thick and it does everything you need it to do to the best of its ability. Input protection, job done. Court feel, job done. Response? Ha! Job done. What else do you need? Tell me to me. Because the job is done. That's what life provides. Are you done? Are, are you done? Yeah, can I, are you done? Over in the PG2, we have that four foot zoom bag, which works like a charm. Yeah, it does its job. Brand new. It's actually thicker than it was in the previous model. That Phylon carrier, which also feels amazing. It's been cored out, so it's a little softer. Yeah. Along with the zoom bag, you've got court feel, you've got the response, yeah. you've got just a really nice feeling under the foot. Yeah. That's why I say it's a hard one, because yeah. it's buff. Hey, hey, real quick, what's what's in the heel? What's in the heel? You're asking bare questions, bro. Hey, what's, what's You're in the, asking bare questions. What's in the heel? You're asking loads. You know what is in the heel? The, the PG2 logo. 
Yeah. PG2 logo. What's on that hill? So, huh? so you want what's the, on that hill? So you want the PG2, what's on the hill flow? You want the PG two logo to protect my knees from going up. <laughs> That's what you want. With that being said, the point goes to the hard and volume team. So six a hard one. So next up, talking about materials, in the PG2 we've got a full mesh construction with hints of suede around the back and in that four foot band as well. Along with a neoprene inner sleeve which performed incredibly well and felt really, really nice across the whole foot. So all of these materials came together and did their thing, for sure. Over here in the Harden Volume 2, Adidas introduced what they call forged fibre mesh, which also did its thing, felt really nice on, on feet. We also have some synthetics back here in the heel area and then again back in the PG2 in neoprene inner sleeve booty which all in all it felt really nice it's, um, it's not as durable I don't think played in the shoe for about a month now mm. and the materials aren't as durable as I thought they would be but the materials still get the job done they're lightweight I like it so with all that being said I think you'll agree the point goes to the PG2 yeah why I think the durability tick yeah, I think it gets over here. The materials in both are pretty similar. We talked about those synthetics and that neoprene along with the meshes. Yeah, but we're talking how long they last and even how soft and how nice they feel. PG2. Next up, we have the fit um, of both shoes. Now here in the Harden Volume Twos, the fit was all right. When you first try the shoe on, the fit of the shoe isn't that great because of this four foot band, this elastic band which acts like a strap almost. Mm -hmm. But the only problem with this the four foot band is that it's like a one size fits all four foot band really which really pinches your foot a little bit when you first put them on. Once the shoe breaks in, you don't feel it as much. So the fit in the shoe was all right, it was just let down by this four foot band. Over here in the PG2, we've still got that similar four foot band which actually did the trick yeah. amazingly in the PG2. Now, with those mesh materials and those synthetics, it all came together in a nice way to hold the foot in the best way you can imagine. The materials are very adaptive, so it works for the narrow footers, the wide footers, even just those who just prefer preference when it comes to a fitting shoe. Yeah. PG2 does the absolute trick. Yeah, and the one thing I really love about the PG2 as well, the fit in the shoe might be, it might be the best fitting shoe I've ever tried on. Oh yeah. And that comes from the lacing system. Right. It's the way it intertwines with different parts of the shoe and it gives you a fit that I don't think I've actually ever felt before in the shoe, just the way it conforms to my foot. Mine said conforms to my foot. I, I just, form. yeah, I think that, I that's a good word. That one, you know? I didn't even clock that one. Man said that still, so. I need to read my dictionary. Yeah, the, the, more, the, the fit in that shoe is, is sublime. So with all of that being said, the fit, Go straight to the PG2. The PG2 did an amazing job making sure that it just fits all types of feet oh, pretty facts. much. And once it breaks in, you get a shoe that fits even better. So yeah, easy point there. Talking about support of each shoe, in the PG2 we've got that four foot band that we've already spoke about, that neoprene inner booty. We've got a very small heel counter, which isn't the most sturdiest, but it's there. And of course, as Flo mentioned earlier, that lacing system, which helps with the fit, which also in turn helps with that support. Last but not least, talking about the outrigger of the shoe, which helps with lateral support on your defensive slides, step backs, and whatever you're up to. Over here in the Harden 2, what we have is a stabilizer in the midsole, in the um, forefront part in the midsole, which basically stops the um, boost, exposed boost from kind of spreading out. And it also acts as an outrigger of the shoe as well. What we have is the lockdown, overall lockdown of the shoe, which gets the job done. I know I spoke about the forefoot band and how annoying it is. It does its job. What it does really is pinch my foot, but it still does its job. And then again, the heel counter of the shoe, which you can see because it's very, very large. Now the support in the shoe was really good. Really it was good. really, really good. It just let down a little bit by the way the shoe fits. Because I guess that they go hand in hand mm -hmm. with each other, but it does do a good job of locking your foot down. So another thing about this outrigger slash stabilizer is that it does work amazingly well. Yeah. When you're talking that much boost, and then you have to cage it, because of course we're talking basketball, it's a yeah. must. We cage it in a way where you don't sacrifice the feel of boost, especially in this area, and that lateral support is taken care of thanks to the stabilizer slash outrigger. So I think this is a really close one because the support in both shoes are very, very similar. But I'm gonna have to give the point I think to the Harden one. I'm gonna have to agree with you. Yeah. The, the support in this was just a little bit better. Now moving on to the price of uh, both shoes. Now in our previous videos, we've always gone with the cheapest shoe is obviously has to be the better option. Mm. But we've kind of thought about that and it's more about what you get for its value, there if that go. makes sense, yeah, right? Not to mean that certain shoes that are cheaper won't get the edge, we're just looking at what you get and how much it's worth basically. With that being said, 
the harder two retails for 130 quid, mm. which is a bit on the pricey side, I think. It's up there. Yeah, it's up there. You do get full length boost. You do get forged fiber. True. You do get a whole, a whole, good, a whole lot of good stuff. A whole, a whole lot, lot of good stuff. stuff. But 130 pound, it's a bit much to me. <laughs> it's a bit much, do you know what I mean? In this it's economy? A bit, it's ah. a bit pricey. Inflation, it's, it's hit me. It's hit me. It's hit me. Yeah, I mean. And us. yeah, we ain't, we ain't, we ain't really yeah, made the money we, too we tough. We got it that tough. Um, but yeah. I'm broke. I'm broke. So then in the PG2 for just 95 pounds, you've got a four foot zoom bag, which is pretty thick, which feels really good under the foot, along with that Phylon carrier, which felt incredible. You've got those mesh materials, similar to what you see in the Forge Fiber, and you've really got a nice snug fit throughout. So you've got a really, really good shoe for less than 100 pounds. Yeah. Less than 100 quid. It's a steal! <laughs> Looking for Brzingis, knocked away by George. He'll go the other way and slam it at the buzzer! So, with all of that being said, um, the point goes to the PG2. It's a steal. That's why I stole it from Timmy. Uh, yeah. 95 pound. So overall, we have two shoes that Nike and Adidas have provided for us, which are both very, very, very good, very shoes. good shoes. In terms of how they perform on court to me, I think they're very similar. Very, very similar. Similar play styles yep. and similar shoes. But I think the PG2 edges, the Harden Volume 2s, I think it's just the fact that you get basically the same thing in both Agreed. shoes. And um, maybe cushion is a bit worse than the PG2s, but the price for what you get in the PG2s is an absolute steal. Absolutely. Absolute steel. It's mad. So the PG2 is the winner of today's battle. So alright guys, that's it from us. As always, don't forget to show us that support and hit that like button below. And of course, comment down below which shoe you think comes out on top, if you agreed with us, and even if you didn't as well. Don't forget to follow boys on Instagram and Twitter. Instagram is at purekicks.ig and Twitter is at purekicks underscore TW. And of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to be in with the know of all of our comparisons and the rest of our content on the channel. Hit the bell next to it for notifications every time we drop a new video. With all that being said, this is the PG2. This is the Harden Volume 2. This is Pure Kicks. Let's, Let's get, get it. it.